chapter 7, lesson 1, is about multiplication tables of 3. So here, we are adding on to what we already know, which is 2s, 5s, and 10s. So before introducing tables of 3s to the kids, let's allow them to practice what they already know. So they should know 2s. 5s and 10s. So now it's 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So again, we teach them finger counting as well as writing it down. This time, they're going to be writing down not only tables of 3s, they'll also write down the other tables. We also need to remind them that since this is still multiplication, that number of groups, items per group, total items, is very important. Again, they may not see the value of it now, but when we get to the word problems, it's really gonna make it so that it's lesser stress for the kids. So our problem for today comes from page 110. Okay, so it says in number two, a sticker album has eight pages. There are three stickers in each page. Question is, there are blank stickers altogether. So, number of groups, items per group, and total items. Okay, so there are eight pages. That's the number of groups. Okay, there are three stickers in each. So, as I rem remind you guys, the each and the per are the same. So that means this is three. So if our kids are confused, we need to teach them how to recognize keywords. And the question is total items. So for consistency's sake, we write eight times three equals question mark. But since the lesson is about tables of threes, we count threes until we hit eight fingers. So that will be 24. So again, parents, we need to encourage our kids to be able to count with their fingers. Okay, the other exercise that we will be doing is number three, which I again feel is counterproductive, but it's part of the lesson of the kids, therefore it must be taught to them. So the problem says 8 times 3 equals question mark. So the lesson will ask you to look for a number closest to 8. That's either 10 or 5. So clearly 10 is closest to 8. So they'll start with 10 times 3. And since this 10 is 2 more than 8, they will remove two groups of three. So if we have 10 times three, that will be 30. If we remove two groups of three, which is six, that makes it 24. But to me, clearly, it's easier if we just encourage our kids to count their fingers by threes until they reach eight fingers. That would give them 24 as well. So again, parents, the lesson is taught in the book. The kids, if they are tested, need to know this. However, if they are not tested, then we don't need to dwell too much on it because it will just cause confusion for the kids. That concludes lesson one of chapter seven. See you in the next lesson.